Hi, I'm Brian Moody with AutoTrader.com, and we came up with a little challenge. We wanted to find the best Mustang for about $30,000. Now, I came up with this 2013 Ford Mustang. It's not the GT, it's a V6, but it's still pretty powerful and has a few cool options. My friend Lizzie is gonna find the car that she thinks is the best Mustang for the same price. Let's see what she came up with. So what do you think? It's pretty sweet. It is sweet. But I thought we were gonna find the best Mustang. We did, right here. No, I think you have found perhaps the oldest Mustang ever. The best and one of the oldest. In fact, it inspired the Mustang. That's right behind you. Well, Lizzie, I think you cheated because I don't think that costs- did I cheat? This doesn't cost 30 grand. It's more like $75,000. Yes. $75,000 Mustang is more like a 67 GT500. This is a 66 Fastback. It's a 289 V8, 271 horsepower. This is the best. Well, I think mine is the best. It's a 2013 Mustang, mm -hmm. not a GT like yours, so that means it has a V6, but still good for 305 horsepower. Plus, I get cruise control, air conditioning, good gas mileage, and a place to connect my iPod. My car has air conditioning, too. But we're talking about muscle cars, aren't we? Right. Muscle cars with their pure, raw, throaty sound. So I think it's a little lame that you're worried about whether or not you can listen to your 70s disco on your iPod. Anyways, I have clearly found the best Mustang. You think so? I think so. All right, let me see. Give me the keys. Give me yours. All right. It's nice having an automatic, especially in traffic, so you don't have to worry about switching gears and shifting back and forth or potentially stalling out. The one thing I do like about the manual transmission, though, when you're out in a joyride or taking a weekend ride, it's far more fun to have the gear shifting. I definitely get it. This car is more fun to drive. There's a more direct connection between the driver and the car and the car and the road, and that does make it more fun. Not only is the car beautiful on the outside, but it's pretty and well laid out on the inside. I have the controls mounted in the typical place in the center, but I also have steering wheel mounted controls which allow me to be able to change the volume, change the station. It also looks like I can take phone calls hands free. That's pretty neat, especially when you're thinking about the classic car. If you're out joyriding, you're not picking up your phone. One of the great things about this car is the styling. It's fun to drive in a way, but there's something about the unique look of this Mustang that's just never gonna go out of style. So what did you think? It's really cool. I get why mm -hmm. you would want a car like this. The styling, the way it drives, and also it gets you a lot of extra attention. It definitely garners attention. You know, your 2013 Mustang isn't too shabby either. It's still a beautiful car. With all those modern amenities, it'd be a pretty good daily right. driver. Yeah. Wipe that smirk off your face, though, because <laughs> I still think the classic is the best Mustang. And I think the modern one is the best one. I like the comfort mm -hmm. and the convenience. For me, that's the best Mustang. Everyone has a preference. What's your preference? Leave us a comment and let us know which Mustang you would pick.